Hi, I'm Jen Anderson from Jen's Guiltless Gourmet, and this is how to make a Mexican chickpea salad. Now, chickpeas, or garbanzo beans as you might know them, are a great source of protein, vegetarian protein, if you're vegan, or if you just want to add another wonderful protein to your diet. And I have some lovely organic chickpeas that I've rinsed and drained. Now to that, I'm going to add a whole slew of great tasty vegetables. I'm going to start with some shredded carrot. And that lovely orange color comes from carotenoids, which are very healthy for you. And I have some beautiful tomatoes. These are little grape tomatoes full of lycopene. I have an organic bell pepper. Just add those in. Now add some green to our salad. Whoa! And all over the kitchen, apparently. <laughs> I have some cilantro, fresh cilantro, also organic. I just rough chop these because I want those bursts of flavor in my salad from the fresh herbs. And again, cilantro, high in phytonutrients and rich in, in magnesium. I also have a lovely serrano chili. Now you can use a, a jalapeno if you want to give it a little heat. Now if you want less heat, you can remove the seeds. So what I really want to do is mince this finely. And also when you're cutting peppers, remember not to touch your eyes. I'm going to grab some red onion. I'm just going to do a dice on this. Oh, look at the color that's going to add. And what would a Mexican salad be without avocado? Let's do the other half as well. Okay, now what will keep the avocado from turning brown in a salad and oxidating is lemon juice. Now lemons are very high in vitamin C. And they're high in what are called antioxidants. And oxidation is what happens when avocados turn brown or you cut an apple and it turns brown. Well, the same thing is happening in your body every day, thousands and thousands of times a day on a cellular level. So when you add antioxidants to your diet, that's the vitamin A, C, and E that you hear people talking so much about. It helps counteract that oxidation on your cells. So literally, the same thing that's going to keep this avocado from turning brown helps keep your cells healthy in your body. And I'm squeezing about half a cup of lemon juice into this salad. In a separate dish, I'm going to whisk together the rest of the ingredients. I'm going to take hemp oil. Now, hemp is a fabulous oil. I have a little bit of organic agave nectar, which is a great simple syrup. I have some minced garlic, and I have some cumin, just a little bit of cumin there. I'm give this a quick whisk. And the reason, again, that I didn't add the lemon juice to this first was because I wanted to make sure it got on those avocados right away to keep them nice and fresh. Yep, I'm going to add a little salt to that also. I'm just going to do the salt directly onto the salad. It will all toss together. About a teaspoon of salt some fresh ground pepper. The rest of our little dressing mixture here with the hemp oil and the garlic and the cumin. And last but not least, pepitas, which are nice little crunchy pumpkin seeds. And that will add some nice crunch to the salad as well. Mmm. How beautiful is that? So I'm Jen Anderson from Jen's Guiltless Gourmet, and this has been How to Make a Mexican Chickpea Salad. Mm -hmm.